where's Jessica? Uh, she just left. We were um watching scary movies and she got scared and you know pooped herself. <laughs> Jasmine Maureen. <sighs> Well, it looks like she left her purse. So I'll just wait down here with you girls. Don't mind me. I have some knitting to do. It's been over an hour. When is your mom gonna go upstairs? Get us some more popcorn. Yeah, I'll be back in a jiffy. I have something better. Can I get some more? Sure. Was that Jessica? Yeah, she just came back to get her purse. Oh, well, I was hoping I could give her her payment. Oh, about that. She said to just donate it to her summer camp fund. Oh, well, isn't that nice of her? Well, I guess this belongs to you all. I'm gonna go get those drinks and I'm going to bed. Gone. Do you think she's still in the house? We need to call the police. No! We can't do that! What if they find out what we did? What do you mean? We tied her up! Remember? We'll get in trouble! What if she comes back? We'll have to search that house and make sure she's not here. Jail? I'm too cute for jail. Calm down. Nobody's going to jail. Well, at least not tonight. But for now, we'll take turns looking out until the next morning. We'll come up with something then. Any signs yet? Michelle, you look like you've seen a ghost. What are you looking up there for anyways? Trap doors? Well, let's not waste any time. This calls for a club meeting. Yeah, let's meet at my house in 20 minutes. So what do we do now? We need to figure out what happened to the babysitter. We could start by retracing our steps from last night. 
Maybe we missed something? But we didn't do anything. We were just watching movies. Yeah, and we even tried to get Jasmine to let go of the babysitter. But Jasmine wasn't listening. She wanted to keep the babysitter tied up in the closet. I was just trying to make sure she wasn't up to something. She was acting so weird. And what I saw outside? Who is that? Maybe it's the babysitter's accomplice. I'll go see who it is. Oh, it's just my neighbor Kyle. Hey, Mushface. My parents just wanted to know if you guys could watch the Fonzie while we head out of town for this weekend. We can't take on any new clients right now. We have a situation to deal with. Uh, we can't watch Fonzie. Something's come up. Wait. You greedy munchers never turn down money. Especially that one. Yeah, um, everything's fine. We just have some stuff we need to deal with. Okay. No problem. Thanks anyway. Do you think she's dead? At this point, anything's possible. Let's go back to Jasmine's house and see if we can find the babysitter. doing here? I was listening and I heard everything. What's going on? It's none of your business, Kyle. Now go away. Come on. Tell me. Maybe I can help y'all. Fine. We're going back to my house to look for clues about the babysitter who went missing. Cool. Can I help you guys? All right, fine. But you have to promise not to touch anything. Yeah. I promise. It's no use. We're never gonna find her. I think something bad happened to her. But what? Do you think... Maybe that thing took her? Wait. Whoa. A few months ago, I woke up in the middle of the night and I saw this weird light coming from my closet and at first, I thought it was just my imagination, but then I heard this strange noise like something wanted to get out. Did it say anything? No, it didn't say or do anything. It just, it just came crawling out of my closet and walked towards me. I was so scared. I, I couldn't move. And suddenly, as it started to approach, it just vanished back into my closet. Kyle, are you sure you weren't just dreaming? No. I swear, it really happened. And then with everything that's happening in our neighborhood? I believe you. I saw it too. So have I.